Hi everyone, welcome to Conversations with Ms. T, and that is me. Today I'm having a conversation with Aminati. Aminati is an 11 year old currently based in the Eastern Cape. She is an aspiring avid reader and a model. Guys, thanks again for tuning in and I hope that you enjoy this. So I feel like Christmas and New Year is for people like you because you don't have to do a lot. You just have to sit there and enjoy it and get Christmas clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, get... it is what happens. It doesn't find get Christmas eat desserts, all of that nice stuff. Yeah. Did you did you get Christmas clothes? Yes, I did. Ooh. Like these ones. I'm wearing my Christmas clothes right now. <laughs> it's this jersey with this a necklace. Oh, okay. It's really it's really cute. You look beautiful. Do you want to maybe introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Amnet Pandey. I'm 10 years old, but this year, February 17, I'm going to turn 11. Um, I've been promoted to be doing grade five, and um, I live in the beautiful home of legends, Eastern Cape. All right, yeah. cool. That makes you 100% closer, right? Yep, 100% closer. Is it true what they say about closer people, that they're Oh my gosh, I've never heard that rumor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when did you hear that rumor? It's an ongoing. <laughs> it's been like people say that a lot. Because of people say that about close of people. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So Let's <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my and God. Because they, around the world are crazy. I know. It's because they know themselves. But yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about that. You'll probably be the unique one that never lies, right? Yeah, I never lie. <laughs> I always I'm always honest. Yeah. I'm always honest. That's good. Um, so we're here because I want to talk about your your modeling career. How did it start? Yeah. Going. Okay, so like I started modeling when I was five years old. Uh, well, my sister put me in those pageants when I was five years old. But like as I kept like modeling, growing older, I liked the experience because like modeling shapes you to become better. It shapes you to be confident. Let's say um you have a project from school and you need to present it and you're scared. But you don't need to be scared because you've already felt how it is going up the stage, modeling thousands of people watching you. So it builds your confidence and like you become a better person and this gets bigger. Your brain gets bigger. Oh, OK, that's good. And how's it going now? It's been going great. As you know, I entered Little Miss SA because I wanted to challenge myself. So like I want to like like encourage other children to like know their rights, to like to know about their rights, to learn to learn practice kindness, all of that stuff in all over the South Africa. Yeah. yeah. Wait, so there's a difference between obviously Miss South Africa for adults and Miss Teen South Africa, and then you said you're in Miss Little South Africa. Yes, I'm in Little Miss South Africa. Okay, what's the age range for the little ones? How old do you have to be? So you have to be 10 or 11 years old. Oh, okay, so 10 to 11. No, wait, 10 to 12, yeah, 10 to 12. 10 to 12, okay. And when is it? When is it going to take place? It's going to take place at Johannesburg. I'm going to go there with the plane, and it's going to be on March. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. I'm yeah. so excited. So your picture, I got very excited. I was very, very excited for you. I'm like, she can do it. She's going to do it. I'm rooting for her. <laughs> Thank you so much. But this is what I'm looking forward to. Like Johannesburg. I've never been to Johannesburg ever in my life. So I'm so excited. Not missing out on any. I don't know if you're missing out on anything. <laughs> Just be safe, please. Wait, will this be the first time you get on the plane? Yes, it will be the first time ever. But, well, I'm the only one who's never been in a plane. 
because my mom has been to a plane, my dad, my sister. Like, I'm the only one here. So, like, at least. Yeah, at least, right? March is around the corner in, like, two more months. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and, like, I'll be at Johannesburg looking at the sky, the clouds, feeling it how it is to be. But I'm super scared. Like, what if, like, the plane crashes? Or oh, worse, the end oh. runs out. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Need to chill, okay? If plane crashes were a frequent thing, I wouldn't be here. Just know that. Just be like, <laughs> Alyssa made it to wherever she is because she took a plane, okay? And you will be fine too. Just make sure, if you can, actually get a window seat. I think if you're flying for the first time, it's very important that you get a window seat so you can see the clouds and the sky and the takeoff and the landing. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get a window seat. I'm going to see everything out there in the world, how it is. Yeah. So how does it go? You go and you stay in a hotel or you have to provide your own accommodation when you're in Joburg? No, um, we don't provide our own accommodation. We just, for Little Miss, Little Miss SA, you pay um, for the travel cost and then they'll figure out everything for you. Maybe they book a hotel for you using the money you gave them. Oh, okay, that's great. That's great. Did you watch the Miss SA 2021? I think it's the 2021? Yes, but um, I watched it in YouTube. Like in YouTube, I keep searching stuff about modeling, maybe um, how to like answer questions and all of that. And then a pop up said Little Miss SA 2021, and then I watched it with my sister. And yeah, okay, so it was great, and I'm really proud of the girl who won. Yeah, yeah. Um, so your sister's the one that's helping you out with all of the stuff, right? Yes, she's the one who's supporting me. Um, the last time we spoke, you said that you are completely against bullying in schools. Yes, I'm really against it. Yeah. I am. Do you tell me that story about your name? So uh, my neighbor, he was a little boy. His name is Amanda. Yep. So um, he was from Ispaza. She he bought his favorite chips, and then um, as he was walking going home, um, some other guys, shady guys, came to him and said, "Please give me your chips." And then um, he was like, "No, these are my chips," because he was still a little boy. He didn't know that they were stealing his chips. But fine, anyway, he gave them. And then those shady guys said they were gonna give him money, but they didn't give him. So the next day, they did that same thing again, but Amanda didn't let that happen until those shady guys took his chips and threw them in the ground. When all of this was happening to your friend or your neighbor, you were standing right outside your house watching it, and you felt... Sad, a lot of sad. And then I just came up to him and told him that he doesn't need to be scared, he needs to be confident. Mm -hmm. And learn to fight for himself. Yeah, I'm totally against bullying. Yeah, and you had you had an experience, well, an encounter with bullies at school too. Yes, when I was five years old in my other school, Holy Angels. Um, I, was, I think I was still in grade R. Mm -hmm. My father gave me money to go to the tuck shop to buy some sweets, and then I was like in the front row. And some girls came to me and said, I'm so beautiful. The church, like, took me out, make me beautiful, all the stuff. And then I was like, thank you so much. You also look beautiful. And then they were like, please, can, like, can you take our spot and I'll take yours? And I was like, why? They said they were going to give me um, some nice sweets and treatment and they'll give me their pizza lunches. And I was still late at that time and I love pizza. So, like, I didn't know much better. So I just agreed to the deal. Fine, I gave them my front row, but still I cut the sweets. And then I went to them and asked them for the money. They said they were going to give me the sweet treatment, all of that. Here, um, we don't even know who you are, blah, blah, blah. Who are you? We never said you're pretty. We never took your spot, all of that stuff. And I think it kept happening every day. And I didn't notice that. So like my friend said that they are ugly. And I'm like, don't call people ugly. 
and then and then those shady girls were looking at me and they thought I was saying they were ugly. And then they came to me and said, You are ugly. And I was like, so? But I didn't notice that. So as I grew up, I saw other people were being bullied bullied with the truth that they had to me. And then that's when I noticed, oh, oh my gosh, I was the one being bullied. I didn't know that. So ever since I was said, and I'm against bullying a lot, cause like it doesn't build your self-esteem, it just lowers your self-esteem. You just um wanna suicide yourself because of being wrong. Yeah, yeah. And, and if you do win Miss Little SA 2022, this is what you will be fighting against. Yes, it's what I'll be fighting against. It will be my enemy. See, I entered Little Miss SA National, South Africa. I can encourage children to learn their rights, to know about their rights, to always practice kindness and do good things, not bad things. Mm-hmm. As I am a children's rights activist. Right. Do you think do you think beauty matters? when it comes to winning the pageants or there's other things that matter? The thing that matters is your confidence, how you answer the questions in a right way, in a confident way, and like smile and like look pretty and know that I'm gonna nail this thing. Now like, keep that <laughs> in your mind. Keep that in your mind, you are a winner. So act like, act like you are keen and say, I'm gonna nail this thing, I'm gonna win. Right. That's how I always do things. Yeah. Even okay. if I'm writing the test at school, Mm-hmm. that's good I hope you will keep that up because I know a lot of people who are not confident and I think I'm also just learning from you to just know that I'm gonna nail this thing yeah <laughs> oh my gosh I'm already influencing people ah! <laughs> sorry <laughs> um <laughs> So you are also starting to become an avid reader, right? You're getting into reading and stuff like that. Can you tell me about that? Okay. So like what I noticed is that when I started reading, um, my imagination just got wild. Like I, as I was reading, I was thinking stuff in my mind, the same thing I was reading there, and that was awesome. Okay. And the other thing I noticed is that when you read, you gain knowledge and your mind becomes bigger and better. Mm-hmm. So reading is really good. That's yeah. why I want to encourage our children to go, to do good things. I want other children to read, doing book reviews. So they see my book reviews, read the books I'm reading. Yeah, yeah. But, not reading the books. but they'll know that when they read, they get knowledge and their mind becomes bigger and better. And what's your favorite children's book so far? You don't have to say the big late thick, the big fat lady. I know you bought it. Let's just put that aside. Just let's talk about the other books that you've read. Uh, what's your favorite book so far? Um, so far, it's the one that I bought, Agnosius and Our Lady and the Papa Snake Fairy. Yeah, yeah, that's the one thing. That book influences you to not be mean to others. So like. If you listen to others, they'll also listen to you. You don't have to force them, make no's, and break things, all of that stuff. You just need to listen to them, and they'll also listen to you. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I love about it. Okay, so that's what you've learned from the books that you read. Yeah. And and yeah. Since, since you started your YouTube channel, what's the, what's the feedback? How are the other children receiving it? My friends and other children are receiving it good. Um, they're saying the chat, the videos are fine, they're perfect. And one other talked about my book review, and she said, "Where can she buy?" Okay, well, I'm happy. I'm happy that you have already started influencing people, including myself. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll be supporting you. You know what? I think that. I would also like to have a conversation with you when you come back from the pageants, like in, in March and stuff, whether you win or not, but I hope that you win and uh, I'll be praying that you win because I want you to win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always thinking about I can imagine. So what's going to happen with school? Are you going to take a break from school? Nope, I'm not going to take a break from school. I'm going to keep learning. But I think that um, Little Miss SA will send a message to my school saying that I need to be 
in Johannesburg, and then that's how things are going to work out. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm still going to come to school, learn everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good. Do you have a message for other young people who want to follow in your steps? Yes, I do. Yes. Um, my message is they always need to be confident about what they say. They always need to like trust themselves, whatever they say, how they do it. And keep that, they must keep this message in their mind saying that I'm going to nail this thing. 